So here we are, I've got my two pieces of my fishtails made. So I've made two. And this one's exactly the same. Put one down with the wrong side down and the other one with the right side. So it's both the right sides in the middle. We're going to sew them together. Now you have to watch the rest of this video because there's other parts that you need to do. Now that does fit. Now I've got myself my needle with my thread in it. I've got a piece of elastic. That is just this. Now what you need to do with your elastic is measure across here and then a half again. And that, when we've got it inside here, that will give you the, the banding for the waist. What we're going to do is, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Now, both your ends are open, like this. Now, what we have to do to put them together, we're going to sew them so they're like this, that we can still get the elastic through the middle. So if you start it by sewing these ends in first, we're going to work our way around So you've still got a hole through there and down through there. Just pick up the edge of the missing. Like this. Now that's that part done. And it's still opened up so that we can get our elastic right through there. So what you're going to do now is you're going to sew all the way down the side to join your two together. All the way down, right the way down to the point of your fishtails. Don't worry about any knots you've got. They're going to be inside the fishtail. So I'm going to sew right down past here. So just pick up the stitches at the edge. Now you can take your time with this. You just over stitch down the edge so I'm going to continue to sew all the way around here and up to this point here and I'll come back when I've got up to this point here and I'll show you what to do next. Now when you've sewed all the way around the tail to this point here, what you have to do is turn your tail, turn your tail the right way around. So go inside here, like this, pull the corner up, put your hand down inside the other tail, 
pull the corner up, keep your thread, keep your needle and your thread on. You're going to take your thread, put your hand in, it works better if you put your hand in. Now this section here, we've got to gather it like this a little bit. So where you've got it sewed up to, put a little stitch in. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to stitch in and out like this. Now don't worry, once we have gathered it together, you won't see it. So use quite large stitches. So just go in and out and in and out like that all the way around this section. In and out all the way around. So we're going to gather it up with some nice large stitches. You won't see it once we've pulled it tight. Make sure you try and keep it straight. So once you're back at the start, what you need to do now is just gather it in. Just gather it in and then put a few stitches in to lock it. Just lock it with a few stitches. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is just tuck your tail in there and we're going to sew up here. Once we've sewed it, we'll pull it out the right way. So I'll show you that again. So once you've gathered it, have it the right way in. Just tuck your tail in there and we're going to sew up to here. So we're going to sew the rest of the body. Now the hole's quite large, so what I'm going to do, I've got sewn up to here, I'm going to thread my piece of elastic all the way around to the other side. So there we go. So this is going to make the top. Put your two pieces of elastic together like this and I'm going to sew it. Now that's that done. 
So what we have to do now is we're going to sew up around here, just like we did at the very beginning. Just chuck in any edges that you've got. And we're just going to sew around here. A couple of little stitches over the top to seal that in. And there we go. Now just take your tails out. I'm going to zoom back out again. And there we go. Here is your little fish tail. Make it in two parts and sew it together. You can make the body as long as you like, as long as you need it. And these are made from the round looms. And I made that when using this. Now if you use those, the wider looms, you'll get a wider you'll get it much, much wider on the waist. And you can make the body as long as you like. Obviously your tail's going to be bigger if you use a wider loom. So this is how you make your little mermaid tail from a round loom like this. So once again, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. I'd like to thank all the people who take the few extra minutes to subscribe to my channel. It really gives my channel a big boost. Please leave a comment. I've made up this little mermaid pattern myself. So just follow the video. Just follow the step-by-step -step instructions or the video. So once again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching, especially to the people who take a few more minutes and subscribe to my channel. It gives my channel a big boost and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you all very much. Now please leave a comment and feel free to come and join me on my Facebook page called Crafty Twin. It's on my Facebook page and I can give you any help if you need it for to do this. So all it leaves me to say is thank you again for watching and I'll see you again for the next tutorial. Now goodbye.